here in the Pikes Peak Ranger District in Colorado looking at the, in this case, the Engelmann Spruce or Picea Engelmanni. It is one of the two native spruce trees we have in Colorado. Needles on the Engelmann Spruce are three-sided and born singly as opposed to the pine trees which come in clustered needles. They have a blue, green to dark green color and white lines. They are not as sharp pointed as a blue spruce uh, which are four-sided and tend to be uh, crowded on the upper side of the twig. The buds are pale brown and small and about a quarter inch in length. The cylindrical papery cones are a light chestnut brown, approximately one to two inches in length, with rounded scales that are wedge-shaped and with ragged edges. This kind of distinguishes them from the Colorado blue spruce, whose cones are about uh, up to four inches long. The bark on the Engelmann spruce is reddish-brown to a purplish-brown color with thin scattered scales as a tree matures. The growth form is pyramidical in shape with a dense crown. As a tree matures, the branches spread horizontally and droop slightly, again allowing it to shed the snow more easily. The lower branches uh, persist, which means they actually stay on the tree as opposed to some of the other conifers here which uh, actually limb themselves. The mature height of the Engelmann spruce can reach about 120 feet, but typically here in the Colorado area we'll see it mature out at about 70 to 75 feet. In native areas, this spruce can grow for 300 years. Every once in a while you may see one in the five to 600 year range, but that would be very uncommon. The Engelmann spruce are native to Colorado and western Intermountain states and grows between 8,000 and 11,000 feet in elevation. It is often found growing in stands together with the subalpine fir. The spruce fir forests are located in high moisture areas and in forests that are valued for their contributions to water supplies. The Engelmann spruce have slow to moderate growth rates they are shade tolerant and prefer well-drained sandy soils and cool, moist sites. In the urban landscape, it requires moisture and a cool, semi-shaded location. They commonly have pests, would be the spruce beetle and the western spruce budworm.